Hey, welcome back to another Low Nose video. Today we're going to take a look at the more advanced options and features of OBS Studio so you can get the best out of your video and audio for creating and editing your videos. Up next. All right, so here we go. In a previous video, we did some basic options, basic recording, basic audio capturing. Uh, now we're gonna dive a little deeper into the options, which will actually help making your, your editing experience a lot more easier. Um, and we'll try to get squeeze some more performance out of your recordings as well with these options. All right, so let's go straight to settings. We'll go to output and we will change from simple to advanced. We will skip streaming because we're gonna, uh, we're gonna focus solely on recording for now. Okay, go ahead. If you, if you didn't before, change the recording path of your videos. Recording format, let's switch it to MP4 because it is a better option for us to, uh, as far as programs we use to, re to editing with. Oh crap, <laughs> let me go back. Output, recording, okay. Audio track, this is very important, guys. In the, in the previous video, everything was all in one track and we had to manually mix our audio, our two audios together, our, our microphone audio and our desktop audio. What we wanna do is we want to record numerous audio tracks. So when we bring it into our editing software, our, our audio actually shows up separately. We'll have our video track, we will have our microphone track, and we, we, we will have our desktop track so we can edit the volume levels however we like um, for whatever situation we need without having all in, in just one file and you know, hoping, hoping that we actually record it right the first time around. All right, so encoder. Um, you know, like I said previously, I like to use um, I have an NVIDIA card, and I'll, I'll, I'll share with you right now what I like to use. I, I like to use variable bitrate, okay? And then I put my bitrate up to 60,000, which is basically 60 megabytes. The reason why I do that is because in, with NVIDIA cards, they have shadow play. And the best, the best um, recording rate for shadow play is 60 megabytes per second. So all I did was just switch it to, whoops, that my, NV, my NVNC, codec, which is NVIDIA, all right, the rate control, variable bit rate, because I don't need to be recording at max bit rates the entire time. If there's a still image, I don't need it to recording at 60 megabytes. You know, it, I, if it's only when things are moving, I need it to record the highest bit rate. But if things are s just still, like, you know, like a photograph, it doesn't need to be recording drastically. Um, but this is what I like to use for this NVIDIA codec. All right, default, I'll, I have it at high quality. Okay, Pro main file, I have it at high. And all of this, it, it all pertains into how your CPU and your GPU are working in conjunction with how it's all handling. You know, the basically the bulk of how it's gonna look it comes from choosing from your rate control and in conjunction with your bit rate. Okay, these are all as far as how everything is talking to each other and you know, like if you have like this massive load, you know, where are resources going to be pushed off onto other things? Okay, I, uh, I'll get into this in a future video, but I just want, I want to get you going solid with basically one thing. GPU, we leave at zero. I only have one GPU. Um, Two-pass encoding, we can leave that on. Okay, and our rescale output resolution. Do I want my, like I explained in, a, in the previous video, I'm recording everything at 2K by default, okay? But how, how would I want this pumped out? Remember, the higher resolution, the more work your computer does. So me, I switched this to, where's 1080? There we go, 1920 by 1080. Uh, in the future, you know, I'll probably mess with this and I'll put out some 2K videos. I'm actually waiting to do 4K. Get a 4K monitor, then put out some 4K videos. Okay, I can save that there. And this is, these are, these are my personal settings that I like that you've seen um, that I've used, that I use for my recording. All right, so let's choose another encoder. Um, let's just say you, you don't have an NVIDIA card. So we'll go by the definite, uh, by the times two, I'm sorry, by 264 uh, media encoder. This is basically, we put all the work on the CPU. 
Okay, again, you uh, adjust your rescale output however you like. You don't have to have it at 1080, you can put it at 720. Um, if, you're, if you know your videos are just going to sell, uh, go into cell phones, or if you have a, a, a not strong enough computer, you know, this will help tr tremendously with the load on your computer. Okay, so let's start off. Uh, I have another computer within my studio, and I like to record at CRIF. I think, what is it, constant rate something or another? Yeah, that's something. Uh, but basically, it, there's a plus and minus where it, 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 it's recording and it'll either go up or down, but the, it's always trying to give you the best image for what's going on. And actually analyzes the, the image like, okay, so what's going on here? Okay, this will be the best settings for this. Let's go up, let's go down. It's a little different than variable bitrate, but it's a little smarter. Okay, so from here, you can either go, the range for this is either 15 to 23. Okay, the lower the number you get, the higher quality it gets. But remember, it, it, it bumps up or, or it bumps down. So if we put our CRF at 15, look. I'm sorry. If we put our CRF at 15, that means when it wants to get the best quality, it'll bump, it'll bump down 16. Remember, the lower it is, the higher the quality is. So if it, it'll bump down, it'll get you, let's do some math here, six. Six, nine, yeah, nine. It'll go down to, uh, to CRF nine. The highest you can get is zero, which is lost as quality, but your files will be so freaking massive. You know, so just keep that in mind. So we wanna, you go 15 or 23. That's where we're gonna go. I found out that for me, the sweet spot is 18 as far as quality and the size of, size of the file. Remember, you can play with these options all day, but what it really comes down to is the, the storage you have or whatever hard drive you have and how fast your computer is. Um, there's, you're, you're never gonna really find the best looking, in my experience, you're never gonna find the best looking settings on OBS as far as you know, getting that crispness. It's, it's either gonna be good or worst. You know, and right now, just mainly by default, you're gonna get good and it can only get worse. You can try to squeeze out some things, but like I said before, it's just, it all comes to resources and how your, your computer is handling everything. Okay, so once you have your CR, CRF set, you can turn that and once again, it's all how much strain you wanna put on your CPU. You have a wicked computer, you can put on high. And tune, we can ignore because this is for different times of things that you're trying to do. So right now we're just trying, we're just focused on recording our gameplay video or our desktop video. We don't need anything um, from here. And here's a very uh, frame rate that I was telling you about, um, but the CRF is a lot smarter, smarter. So we're gonna stick with 18. If you feel that 18 may be a little too much for you, then you can go ahead and pick something else. All right. Oops, no, I'm sorry. Okay, all right, so. We've gone through some more adv um, deeper advanced options for video and we did deeper advanced options for audio. Let's put this together. Let me go back to my mixer and make sure everything is set. As you can see, I've got my microphone channel. Right here, it's all set. One, two, okay, so, so as of right now, when, when, my, when my file records and I bring it down to my session, Everything is gonna be mixed into each other. So I want to separate everything. Let's just say I want microphone on track one so I'm gonna delete everything here. And then I want my desk audio, desktop audio on track two. So when I, so before where everything was just on one file, now I'm telling the computer, okay, listen, when you compose this file together, let's have everything on a separate track. Okay, so now that we have everything set up, let's go ahead and, and let's uh, add our sources and our scenes, our, add our scenes and our sources. So we'll have scene one, okay, our house number one, and I'm, we're just gonna do display capture. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to play a video. Actually, I'm gonna start recording. And then I'll play this video right here. And what I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna show you how my microphone's going, the desktop audio is going, and when I drag it into my editing, uh, editing software, it'll give me the option to play with the levels of either one. All right, so that's enough. You can stop it right there. We'll wait for it. And now I will open up my Vegas Pro. And here is my video. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Low Notes. Hey Go ahead, guys. load up. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another. 
Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so here we go. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Low Nose. Today you can see that right here. Track one is my microphone. Track two is the audio that's coming from the bottom, is coming from the video. And if I want, I can actually play with it. I can turn down my voice from the microphone, or I can I can turn down the audio from the actual video. You have the, you have the options to play with all of this stuff. You can do as you please, and you can actually delete what you're not using. All right, guys. So we delved in a little more in advanced options of videos and audio, and I hopefully hopefully that helps you. Uh, create your videos uh, with a little more understanding and a little more flexibility as well. Guys, if you found this video helped you, go ahead, please leave a like. Um, I'm going to have more videos on my channel, so go ahead and subscribe. And as always, guys, I'm making videos. I'm here try helping you out. Um, any questions or any comments, any videos that you would like to see me make or any additional details about OBS, go ahead, please leave a comment below and I will get right back to you. Until then, guys, I am Low for Low Nose and I will see you in the next video. Bye.